This is Spinnaker3, and since my mojo was locked behind war, I figured I'd make a different champion video, and that is Elsa Bloodstone. Now, I know a lot of people like her, a lot of people don't like her, but regardless, you cannot deny how effective she is against Selective Timestream. So I'm going to be taking her against the 7.1.6 Gwenpyrian, and you'll notice that her incinerates last for 11 seconds. And the thing about Selective Timestream is that every 20 seconds, Gwenpyrian will heal back to full health unless she has an incinerate on her. So since my incinerates last for 11 seconds, which is one of the longest lasting incinerates in the game, all I need to do is make sure that I put an incinerate on Gwenpyrian when the timer is just about halfway complete. And I know that she will not heal back to full. So that is exactly what makes Elsa so great for this fight. Because she has such a long lasting incinerate effect, there is no worry of Gwenpyrian healing up to full because it is so easy to just double medium and get the incinerate onto Gwenpyrian. So the one thing about selective time stream is with most champions, it's very stressful. You know, you have to try and keep up your incinerate, keep up your shock. And it's very hard to do that sometimes, but with Elsa's super long incinerate, there is zero fear. So you notice right here, the timer is about to go to zero and she does not heal up because she has the incinerate on her. So I have a six star duped Elsa. I pulled her once from a basic and then duped her from a featured. And so I actually used Elsa on my completion run of Gwenpyrian because no one was really talking about Elsa Bloodstone. I realized her incinerates probably make this fight a joke because Gwenpyrian has high energy diet, which means if you have energy attacks, you can't actually do much damage against Gwenpyrian because she'll just start healing it all back. And that's why you really need a champion who can put incinerates that doesn't do energy damage. And Elsa Bloodstone is the perfect answer, in my opinion, because it's just such a simple fight. I mean, I didn't have Ronin to stun cheese or anything, but you'll notice that the rotation I'm using here is a very standard Elsa Bloodstone rotation. I launch a special one to get the precision buff that's indefinite, and then I launch my special two to get uh, just a lot of big damage, and then the precision buff will expire. And I'm just trying to manage the amount of incinerates that I put on Gwenpyrian to make sure that she doesn't heal up because after this long of a fight, you really don't want to have to do it all over again. So after Elsa Bloodstone uses up six of her bullets, I accidentally got hit there, which was a little bit unfortunate, but I pulled back from it. Anyway, once Elsa Bloodstone uses all six bullets, her bullets go on cooldown and then they recharge after a certain amount of time. So what you also have to do is not just keep in mind when you have an incinerate on Gwenpyrian, but you also want to time your cooldown so that you won't ever miss out on the selective time stream window. And I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So right here, I launch my special one and my cooldown just started. I got the incinerates on Gwenpyrian when she was under halfway on her selective time stream timer. So that means she won't heal back to full as you just saw. And look, my cooldown has just ended, giving me all six of my incinerate bullets right when her selective time stream starts back up. So I know that I'll be able to place an incinerate on her, and I do it right here. And the special two does it too. I re-enter cooldown, and I know it'll come back in time. And the nice thing about Gwenpyrian is that I really don't have to worry about her special three, just because she doesn't have any activated because she's one of the mashup bosses. So that means I can really go as aggressive as I really want, and just smack one period. And that's what makes Elsa so good for this fight. You notice that there's only 10% left. It has been a very safe fight. I mean, I got hit twice and that was on a dashback that she just managed to clip me on. But apart from that, Elsa Bloodstone has really been putting in a lot of work, making this a very safe and stress-free fight. So Gwen Perian's about to go down, but if you enjoyed this content, please leave a like. Comment if you want me to do more videos that are not just solely about Mojo, and subscribe if you want more content, and I'll be sure to do that soon. Catch you later.